oh my gosh, what a beautiful evening for a beautiful woman from a bunch of beautiful people. Um, I really don't know where to begin because I too wrote a script and like Jane, watching you tonight watch your work, which I know is very challenging, we want another whack at it. <laughs> so I wrote some more stuff and it just goes on and on because I'm here out of sincere love for Jane Fonda and what she means to me. So I will embark on this and I may inject some of this. <sighs> Edith Wharton said, there are two ways of spreading light, to be the candle or the mirror that reflects it. Jane, you are both. It is such a blessing to me to be able to partake in honoring you here tonight, Jane. It's a chance to thank you a bit for being the woman who has informed my life, our lives, with the courage and honesty of your tremendous spirit. And the fact that Jane Fonda has deeply touched a few billion people, I don't think that that makes it any less personal. <laughs> Sincerely. My earliest memory of Jane Fonda is, well, it was a clip tonight. It, it's um, that fabulous scene from Fun with Dick and Jane with George Siegel, and they're plotting their heist. And when she sat on the can at that moment, I was like, that could be my mom. I love her. She still has my 12-year-old heart, and you will always have my 12-year-old heart and everyone after. Um, I, I just, she brings a level of humanity and it's coming from here, you know. Soon after that first impression, I started gorging on Jane's impeccable work in unforgettable films, which we saw most, some of tonight. I mean, Coming Home, The Morning After, Julia on Golden Pond, China Syndrome, I mean. I started to feel a real kinship with her, and I don't know what it was. Other people were feeling it too, and I think it's called vibing. You vibe somebody, and Jane has a lot of that. And it's a twofold experience, because at once, I, I felt high, literally like high. Like when I ever did get high later in my life, I was like, that's that feeling I had when I was watching Jane Fonda's work. You just are elevated into another level of comprehension. And also as if I were sitting in her lap while she was telling me the most important things that I could ever possibly hear. Jane has that effect on me. She stirs our soul because we can feel her from the big screen witnessing her break through her own discomfort, forging an intimacy through her characters almost against her will. I feel that Jane's tears, when I see them, they come from a place that seems to me like awe because she's getting to know herself. And each offering of herself to us feels as if it's its own sacred confession. Recently, during promotional requirements for a movie, I was asked, who Wonder Woman is to me? What do you think my answer was? Jane Fonda. Woo. Hell yeah. <laughs> to me, Jane is the most generous journey woman in her craft, certainly, but also in her life as a leader for the healing of humanity and the earth and through her passionate activism. It is a joy to celebrate you, Jane. A deep, profound, almost sacred event for me personally, selfishly. Because your sublime excellence in film and us celebrating you here tonight, and, and especially your latest indelible performance in youth, and congratulations on that. Uh, you keep on expanding the path for women in film, of course. God bless you for that. Oh. But if I can paraphrase a bit, and I'll be... Well, I only have a few more cards to go. In describing herself, Jane has said that she endeavors to, quote, understand what her life means, to put it in a way that, she, that it can be meaningful to other people, and that that's the gift she would like to leave behind. Quote, the strangeness of my life is the most important thing about me. 
more than any particular part of my work. Jane, your gloriously strange life and your God-given artistry have clearly colluded to create genius. You connect the dots, man. You are not a mere star. You are a fucking constellation. <laughs> Boats, people set their chart by you. And I think you know it. Your formidable empathy is your superpower. It is no wonder that you are addicted to epiphanies. <laughs> Thank you. You know. Okay. When you were youth, you were a person who gamely went there and became Barbarella, and you learned well what it is to internalize sexism. Aha, but you see, here's the thing about Jane Fonda, one of many things I love about her. She is also an alchemist. And as my Wonder Woman, she shared with the world the recovery of her own soul back from that glamorized, treacherous precipice of ever having been defined by other people's projections. And she lived up to them. That's what she did next, probably out of spite. <laughs> Jane is inseparable from her long-standing activist role in forging a holistic and global experience of feminism. She has studied and deeply and is connected to those dots that she helped create and, and, and is there for us to heal the perspectives that we unwittingly assign to gender and the very meaning of power in the world. Quote, we have to focus on global warming until we can destroy patriarchy. <laughs> Quote, we need to inoculate girls against the media until we can change the media. Thank you, Jane, for embodying and imparting such vast, soul-felt learning curve, your inspiration and your earned wisdom, and for your big, buttery heart, and also I'm going to scooch this in. You use your celebrity to help end bullying. God love you for that. And you know what? All your terrific film work, too. Would you please come up here and accept this glorious award tonight? 